In this video, I'm going to talk about column, especially columns used in the distillation or the absorption. So if we look here, we have all. So these are all the unit operations that we have. If you choose the reactors, here comes the reactions. But in the separation, there is only physical separation. So we have two phase separator and three phase separator and a tank. After that, there is a section related to the distillation column. In the distillation column, this is the least. This is the absorber. It doesn't, it's just a column with three, sometimes could be bagged. But it doesn't have any condenser or reboiler. If it has only a condenser, it will be called a refluxed absorber, like this one. If it only includes a reboiler, it will be called a reboiled absorber, like this one. And if it has both condenser and a reboiler, it will be called a fraction distillation or a distillation column. The difference between the absorber, repoiled absorber, refluxed absorber, and a dissolution column is the degree of freedom. For example, the absorber degree of freedom equals to zero because you don't have to add any additional operating specs. But for example, the distillation column with a partial condenser, the degree of freedom will equal to three. We will understand these numbers and how to define the degree of freedom later in this course. So. During this workshop, we will cover two different uh, uh, projects. The first one is related to natural gas liquid fractionation, and we will have two uh, distillation columns. The first one is reboiled absorber to be used uh, um, to uh, remove methane, so it will be called demethanizer. The second one will include a condenser and the reboiler, that's why it's called the fractionation or distillation column. And it will be used to remove ethane, so it will be called deethanizer. This is the first workshop. The second workshop will be about the atmospheric root column. So we are going to fully define the, this distillation column. Okay, so let's start with our first workshop. It's, we have this is simple flow sheet. I have created two feed streams and this is an energy stream. So two material stream and one energy stream. So I'm going to upload this one and I'll add it to the description of the um, course because um, you don't need to create this one. You're just going to open your case and start the simulation with me. So it will be a simple flow sheet consisting of a demethanizer column and deethanizer column. Okay, so at the beginning, we are going to add the demethanizer. And as we mentioned before, the demethanizer is a reboiled absorber. So only reboiler and we are going to add it here double click to open it it's just a separator but uh, after doubling click we will have a column input expert and it's important to add the data until this next here it will be active so here as i mentioned before it's a demethanizer so we are going to remove methane we are going to call it dc1 because we are demethanizing okay the top stage inlet here, this one, will be our feed one. So in this case, we are going to have two feeds as material and one energy stream as inlet. Okay. So here also that the optional inlet stream will be feed number two and it will be fed to tray number two. Okay. We have here 10 trays or 10 stages. The second material stream will be the X duty here, and it will be fed to tray number here, tray number four. Okay, this all are data given. Also, you are not required to change the number of stage. We are going to keep the default number of 10. After that, we still have a lot of uh, information to add. It's still not active. We need to add the overhead. And in this case, it will be DC1, D methanizer overhead, overhead. And for the reboiler, we are going to add the reboiler energy. So DC1 Q or reboiler Q. And for the bottom, we are going to have a liquid here. So DC1 bottom liquid, liquid. Okay, or bottoms. We don't have to add a liquid because we know that 
it will be in a liquid phase after adding all the product now you will have this one active okay so we have completed it and in this case the top stage reflex is a liquid inlet okay we don't have a bump around here we are not going to take from a, a tray and cool it and pump it again we are not going to do this okay now we are going to press next and after that we will have different reboiling co configuration most of the time we don't change the reboiler configuration we keep it as it is once through and the regular high size reboiler because this one will this two actually will need more information so we are going to press next now because we have um, nothing to change here after that you will have the pressure profile the pressure profile you need to enter the data because this one isn't active so this is a must added data or not optional okay in this case we will have the top stitch um, pressure given to be 2275 kilopascal and the bottom or the repoiler pressure is 2310 kilopascal okay after pressing this is also optional the pressure drop is zero if you didn't add any value it will be equal to zero as given okay so we have entered the pre uh, pressure profile after that we press uh, next most of the time this is uh, the temperature estimate aren't given okay so that's why it's optional and the next part uh, is active but in this case we are given that the optional top stage temperature estimate is negative 92 degrees Celsius and for the repoiler optional temperature estimate is equals to 20 degrees Celsius okay so this is negative because actually we are dealing with um, gases so the temperature of the condenser or the temperature that may turn it to liquid will be low okay now we have we can press next to the final step this is the final step and in this case you are you can add maybe some specs or side uh, uh, options okay so side options like a bumper round or side stripper but in this case we are not going to add anything okay so we can press okay okay we are done now so you will have this column page open it includes all the data so also it mentions that the fluid package here is pink robinson so you don't have to go to the properties and to choose the fluid package it appears at the top okay in this case no information will be supplied like if we enter here you have overhead you okay this is not converged the column is not converted even if if you run here okay one or more specs is needed that's we are that's why the degree of freedom isn't equal to zero the degree of freedom equals zero which means all the information that we need to define is already defined but in this case we have this error information which means the error summary you need to add one of these or add another spec at all and you need to check the spec summary and it's still unconverged here you have three options to add and all of them is empty so you need to add at least um, at least one or more to define it okay so we are going to the design and we have this monitor page as a monitor page it shows a specified value that you enter the current value and which one is active so active means you are going to use it and estimate this is from estimation and the current value so any active i think will be current okay so here if you add okay so if we remove this we will have a degree of freedom is equal to one so in this case we need to define at least one okay the degree of freedom equals one which means we need to define one until if we define this one this one is a degree of freedom will equal to zero we are we have here we are given that we have the overhead product rate the overhead product rate 
and double click on it because it's given it's from the decor demethanizer overhead and we are given the, the molar flow equals to 1343 kilogram mole per hour after pressing enter now we have this value we need to make sure that it's active after pressing active the degree of freedom equals zero and the hour column is conversion most of the time is the a column is not converged you go to the monitor and check the degree of freedom to know how many um, variables or added values that you need to define okay if we remove this one from not active again the degree of freedom will equal to one so active and it's uh, automatically converge so now we are sure that we have an overhead product defined and it's active and also without pressing run it automatically converge okay